This is Ahmed Salim recording for The Merciful Servant. Oftentimes when I get to travel around the world, people come to me and ask me the question they want to learn Arabic. And I reply to their question with a follow-up question, which is, why do you want to learn Arabic? And most of the time, the answer nine out of ten is so that they can understand the Quran better. And I answer this follow-up question to another follow-up question, which is, have you utilized all the resources that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you at your disposal at this very moment for you to be able to better understand Quran. And nine times out of ten, the answer is no, they haven't. Inshallah, this video is going to present to you nine, some five to four to five tips that you can implement in your lives at this very moment, irrespective of which part of the world you live in, and it will get you closer to the goal of understanding Quran better. First and foremost, any individual wanting to understand Quran needs to understand the fundamental aspect about connecting with the Quran. If you want to become better in understanding Quran, you need to have a daily connection with the Quran. How many times it happens that subhanAllah, months go by and you know, we never even touch the Quran or what portion of our month is dedicated towards even simple recitation of the Quran. So let us make it a habit that we are going to focus on at least reading whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the tawfiq of whether it is one minute, two minutes, five minutes, half an hour and let's start with something small and be consistent on it. Tip number two, when we are connected with the Quran, we have a daily you know, connection with the Quran, we need to start performing or reciting Quran better. Our recitations are far from perfect. I mean, it's a shame sometimes you find people, they have spent 15 years of their life getting these professional degrees of lawyers or doctors and when these people get up to recite or read or lead Salah, they can't even read Surah Fatiha properly. So find a teacher of the Quran and if you're living in the West, UK or Europe or Canada or North America in general, there are ample teachers available. And if you're living in some part of the world, like you know Timbuktu or Fiji, where you don't have anyone, you always have internet and you can find teachers on internet that can help you uh, become better in your tajweed. Tip number three, word-to-word -word translation of the Quran. Now, a lot of people undermine this little step, but this is a very powerful step. If you do word-to-word -word translation of the Quran, it it allows you to actually enjoy the Quran. And subhanAllah, there is something magical about memorizing word-to-word -word translation of the Quran, which only people that have been through the system will be able to appreciate. And it's, it's just like your mind works magically. And you know, you don't know grammar, you don't know anything, but subhanAllah, when the verse is being recited to you, you like, you're like, oh my God, I understand this. And this is something so unique that only people that have been through that experience can vouch for it. So try it and maybe, you know, it, it'll be a success for you, inshallah. Tip number four, there's no excuse left for any individual today not to be able to pick up the copy of the Quran and uh, not to be able to pick up the translated copies of tafsir that are available. Most of the major taf tafsir works such as Ibn Kathir or Tabari or some other books, they've been translated in one or more different languages from Arabic. More on that, if you are not a reader, you have a lot of audio material that is available. Not a whole Quran, but at least the question is, have you heard all that is available? You can get Juz Amma, you can get Juz Tabarak, and all of these are available. Eight tafsirs of these uh, ajza from the Quran or these chapters from the Quran, they are available in the English language and also other languages. Lastly, the most important tip is that uh, it's not necessary in today's day and age for somebody to actually go and travel and come to the Middle East to learn Arabic. You have so many prime examples of people who have lived in the West and there are famous duhat around us that have perfected the language or they're very good or considered to be masters of Arabic language in America or in US or, or in Canada or in, in Europe and they've not, not left Canada. So there's ample institutes, ample opportunities for individuals who are really serious about learning Arabic. They can do that while they're in Canada or America. I keep saying Canada because I'm from Canada, that's why. In the end, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it if you want a lot of people to benefit from this inshallah. And lastly, I'd like to make dua for every one of us that is, every one of the people that are involved in this merciful servant project, the blessed project of merciful servant that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them ultimate success 
in the akhirah first and then this in this dunya bi idnillahi ta'ala with this we come to an end subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين 